the video for Richard Kaiser Mac. I apologize. Uh, I'm not able to completely decipher your username on Street Boys. I will put an annotation in a video with a link. This is for his model boat engine cooling water pump from Shapeways. This cost me ten dollars and twenty four cents plus a little bit of shipping. Um, basically, what it is is an RC water pump for an RC boat. It's very simple. Don't know quite how well it's going to focus. It's a simple centrifugal style pump. Uh, don't pay attention to the black. It's actually RTV sealant. Uh, and it's very well designed, and I believe it took him a week, maybe two weeks, to fully design and put on the website. And it's actually very, very well done. You know, when I first got it, I thought, by the packaging size, this thing would be massive. And it's actually not too bad. As you can see next to a Titan 380 motor, it's actually about the same diameter, only it's quite a bit shorter. Uh, this pump has a theoretical flow rate of 2.5 liters a minute. Now the best I've been able to get out of it is 2 liters a minute, but that's also because I didn't have RTV sealing in the joints, and it's actually kind of a big gap. Um, designed that way specifically so that there's no interference with the motor, so you don't have to actually shave it down. It fits almost perfectly right off the bat. So what you do, when you first get it, it'll actually be a little flat pack design. Um, I've already taken and done all the hard work for you. So what you get is a pump body itself, very nicely designed. Uh, there's actually about a two millimeter, maybe three millimeter riser on the back so that you have room just to countersink your screws. So it's fantastic. Now the pump top here actually has a little cone in it so that the motor shaft itself, when it goes in, will, will not block off the water flow. So anyway, he asked that I show you guys how to build it. So what you do is you take your motor and make sure to line up your motor mounting holes. And I have RTV already applied on the motor. Very simple. It's just a two-hole design. You take one of your screws on each side. It's very hard for me to grip this motor right now. I don't have a lot of strength in my left hand still. Um, I had an unfortunate accident on my motorcycle at about 80 miles an hour. And my left hand is kind of messed up. So anyway, it also comes with this little two blader and impeller, and it's actually curved. And there's a little protrusion on one end, and that's the end that goes down towards the motor. And for me, the easiest way in order to get this on is set it on there, push it down a little bit, and take a pair of forceps, which are just really long surgeon's pliers, and push it on there. Just like that. And when you first get it, it's a little tight. Don't worry, it'll loosen up. You take your pump top and put it on, and you put in four screws. And Richard, I'm sorry for the short video, but that's a basic design on how you get it built. I'll put up a video shortly showing flow rates.